Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. I'm starting on the screen As the Emperor's spies told because of this. Siri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Marigold. Triss Marigold. Look at that. The scene in Novigrad. Welcome back to our blind playthrough here on YouTube. I love this. I love this. That was that was dark and and very thematic, the burned face. Uh in the last episode, as the unnamed narrator just mentioned, uh in the last couple episodes, we made it to Novigrad. We our our jaw hit the floor from uh what <laughs> that city looks like. And then we got so sort of sent on a number of quests around the city, helping Triss, and then and then doing our own thing. And we are currently in the middle of a quest. Oh man, it is taking forever to load right now. In the middle of a quest with a ghost, a ghost haunting. It's called Novigrad Dreaming. I'm gonna uh, read this real quick, just so that we know. I have to examine the oven, but it says uh, Oniromancers, or dreamers as they are more commonly called, possess the ability their name implies, to defy, divine the future or relive the past through dreams. Corrine was one of the best of her kind and had no trouble finding clients, even with the hostility to the occult that reigned in Novigrad at the time. Geralt hoped she would spare him a few moments and set off to find her in a house where she had gone to ply her trade. In that house, we heard noises from the attic. Um, we've seen drawings all over the place. There's a drawing about an oven. So. That's what we're off to do. <clears throat> Sorry, pardon my voice. It's early in the morning, and I'm still kind of waking the good old vocal cords up. This is, I believe, by the way, that this is the very definition of, like, hot and bothered right now. Karina's just fully hot and bothered. Barely clothed, but very bothered. <laughs> uh, bothered by some kind of spirit, some kind of shit. Yeah, it's not good. All right, an oven. The trap door down there. I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember if it said where exactly the oven was, but it sounds like we might be going into the uh, the good old trap door. Okay, into the trap door it is. Nope, nope. Not received wire. Opened trap door. There we go. There is a ladder. That's a relief. Oh, that's an oven. What are we going to find at this oven? A dumpling? Is that a fly? I heard a sound. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. I've seen too many horror movies. I've not seen that many. Don't do the panning shot. Nope. Okay. God. Jesus Christ. Did I scare you? Ooh, a little bit. Scared you, didn't I? Your beautiful I eyes. you were scared. Mm. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Oh. Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. No. That lady fell asleep. And I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Is it? Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. And if she wakes up, you can't play anymore? Because uh, they're gonna find out what you're doing in this house where you've been living. Hey, do you know Johnny? Hey, do you know, if you don't know Johnny, do you know a little guy sort of green bigger ears than you but sort of similar face um likes to say his sentences in sort of reverse order yoda he goes by yoda do you know yoda he looks sort of like you okay no i know what you are you're lucky i know you're a harmless godling but others might not know and then and how'd you know i'm a godling eh how's that eh 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 if it looks like Witcher. one and that's like one Trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. 
What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red. Why do you live in a haunted house? <laughs> Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially <laughs> not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. Mm. I don't want to! Mm. I don't! I won't! Let's make a deal. Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him I love that. that. What if he doesn't believe you? He I'm will. A witcher. He'll believe me. Uh-huh. Yes. 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. Aw, Sarah. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepy head. I won't stop her. She'll I have to up. say, between the two, I prefer Johnny. Good Sarah? Day. Sarah says good day. Sarah seems fine. Nothing wrong with Sarah. Uh, just uh, not exactly my cup of tea. Johnny was a, a real pleasure to talk to. Sarah, I always feel as if, at least a little bit, um, she might try and prank me. Oh, I like that. I like the, uh... I like the way Geralt handled that. I'm glad I had the option to say... Hey. Um, he paid a lot of money for it, but that doesn't mean you absolutely have to move, uh, to move out. Hi, Corinne. How's it going? Or Corinne. I don't remember how they say her name. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods... Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. I believe you. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. Hmm. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who Let's go. Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. The Golden right. Sturgeon. See you there. What a lovely thing. I'm always wor a little bit worried with this game. Not in, a, not in a super bad way. It would be fine if the game did it. It's just not my, not how I plan on playing the game. The giggling, man. The giggling. I'm always a little bit worried when uh, a female character in this game says, is there any way I can pay you back that we're just going to get, you know, straight to the sexual offers? And I'm like, oof. I would much rather have information. <laughs> And I'm so glad that didn't happen. Uh, all right, so. I wonder if the banker's still going to be outside. The Golden Sturgeon. I would love to drink at a place called the Golden Sturgeon. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? The opposite. House is still haunted, and I can't seem to lift the curse. A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about <laughs> it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. Wait, is that... Hold up. Is that a rich person? Wait a second. Hold up. Is that a rich person with a, a sense of... A sense of perspective? About the loss that they just incurred? I knew this game was fictional, but... 
Yo, you gotta keep it believable sometimes. Holy shit. All right. The golden sturgeon. Oh my god, I just love taking in this city. My god. Did you see the person walking? Yeah, that walkway right there. Thunder in the background. Stars, clouds, still some light in one corner of the sky. Oh my god. This fucking place, man. I've decided I'm never leaving Novigrad. This is now a Witcher 3 Novigrad only playthrough. Um, welcome. Poor Townsman, hello, hello. Horson's Hinchman. Also nice. Drunk. It's just, there's always something to do in the city, you know? There's always some drama to watch. Some drunk to make fun of. Shush lovely natural surroundings. <laughs> A beggar, some guards. Oh yeah, the golden sturgeon. And a notice board. Hold the fucking phone. Plus fist tech. Which we've encountered a couple times in this game so far. Rain. I lock rain. All right. <clears throat> Put my reading voice on. <clears throat> Quick coin in a pinch. Do you need coin fast? Those blasted non-humans at the Vivaldi Bank say your credit's no good. Come see me. No paperwork required. No questions asked. No limits. Loans available in Hocklandian francs. Han Jucker. Jucker. Okay. Annual interest rate 700%. my heart oh cries in payday lending oh warning for new arrivals uh newcomers are hereby informed that in novigrad one worships the eternal fire and only the eternal fire the practice of any other religion will be treated as an act of heresy and punished to the full extent of the law that is by public incineration particularly forbidden is the wearing of the symbols of other deities the conducting of rituals in their honor or the preaching of other faiths his Excellency Cirrus Inglekind Hemelfart. Hemelfart, let's go. Hierarch of the Church of the Eternal Fire. Stay out the sewers. We'd like to inform all venerable residents of Novigrad that last week the Temple Guard fished three bodies of the following descriptions out of the city sewers. Male of moderate age, clad in rich apparel, the birthmark on his upper shoulder. Female elderly dressed in a blue nightshirt, numerous blunt trauma wounds. Male young naked in decent tattoo on his groinal area, We have to wonder what the tattoo was, right? What was the tattoo? What do you think the tattoo was? What was the tattoo? These bodies will be examined and identified by the end of the month, then cremated. We would like to take this opportunity to warn our dear townsmen and women against entering the sewers. Despite continual efforts on the part of our brave Temple Guard, they remain an extraordinarily dangerous place. Eyewitness testimony. Oh, shit. Wanted Triss Marigold. Eyewitness testimony is confirmed that Triss Marigold of Maribor, known as the 14th of the Hill, a member of the infamous Lodge of Sorceresses, is currently in residence in our fair city. Anyone in possession of information about her place of hiding, plans, or accomplices is obligated by law, both divine and human, to report to the nearest outpost of the Temple Guard at once. And whoever helps the witch by giving her food or shelter shall burn alongside her. I wonder if that's in store for me. I've definitely helped her. We have a contract. <clears throat> Fellow followers of the flame, in recent days, several officers of the Temple Guard have been ravaged to death in a most bestial manner. An investigation has been launched to look into the matter, so the perpetrator shall soon feel the iron grip of justice closing around his throat. Anyone able to help the guardsmen track down and punish this murderer or murderers, as the case may be, is asked to report to the nearest guard post at once. Reward is foreseen. It's likewise hereby announced that any man aiding or abetting these bandits or withholding evidence regarding these crimes shall be punished by torture, imprisonment, or even death. Things are great here in Novigrad. Lovely city. Gwent, let's fucking go. 
To all Gwent players, the Dwarven Banker Vemi Vivaldi is a villain in a cheat using typical non-human trickery. Uh-oh, that's called racism. He conned his way to victory over me, then forthwith demanded I surrender my cards without the slightest consolation or giving me the chance of a rematch. Anyone tempted to play with him. Resist or regret. Sounds like I'm on my way to the bank. Sounds like I'm right on my way to the bank. Big city players. Hey, let's go. Interestingly enough, we have a Witcher contract here in the city. Not that that can't happen, but it's just that like, you think of, at least at least I think of, a, uh, a big city, I think. It's, did I say cultist? Greetings. It does say cultist. What the hell? Is anybody here from Twitch chat? This guy's a cultist. He's a member of our cult, uh, Twitch chat. Welcome to the cult, dude. My friend. All right, let's see what's uh, going on inside here. Any man who does something or other. I came in the back door. Nice, love that. In keep. Too much dialogue. Captain Wolverstone. May I? Depends what with. Looking for someone who'll sail to Skellige. Oh! Take me with them. My Atropos and me. We're due to sail for our Skellig. Carrying grain. But that's our shush. Carrying grain. Got any coin? I still need to get some. We can do this, but we gotta do it another gotta time. get more coin. <clears throat> you sure do. I won't even whip me horse in a bath without payment in advance. <laughs> oh, what a line. Captain Wolverstone. You're a lovely kind of pirate. They definitely got some fighting. They got the bards. You look familiar. You look familiar. I'll slit your throat. Let's talk with this, uh, with this guy. The folk in this city. What'll it be? What will it be? Well, first off, do you got any cards? Uh, what are you serving? We could play a game of Gwent. But they also are just selling cards, which might be... Dahl Blathana Scout. It's a Sciatel card. Unit. I'll take it. Um, Siege Technician. Okay. Interesting. That's a, like, a, a medic card. Um... Maka Mahakaman Defender. Close combat, sure. These are all cheap enough that it's not going to hurt me to buy them. I'm just kind of trying to get a... And then we have those two Agile cards. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, Cool. Well, I kind of want to play this guy in Gwent. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Let's fucking do it. What's the worst that could happen? I could not lose hungry, to a bartender. Not thirsty, <clears throat> but I sure wouldn't mind a round of Gwent. I'm not going to play everybody in, in Gwent, but you know what? Uh, when the time is right. All right, I don't think I have any new cards. In Northern Realms. Does not appear that I do. Okay, so we should just go with the same same deck, I think. Sciatel faction perk to go first. I have two decoys. I have close combat and a clear weather. And I think my current leader card is the one that allows me to... It's a free commander's horn. So those are actually both semi-helpful. Um, three, sorry, two siege cars, one ranged, and then this guy. We're gonna replace a fuck, a decoy, and that card. Oh my god, we don't have enough numbers. We got commander's horn. Uh, we have lots of commander's horns, but oh my god. Okay. So <laughs> we're in trouble. 
This could be rough. Uh, we're gonna try and win this one on ranged, I think. I can, I can you play my Biting Frost and win on ranged, hopefully. Let's see. God, that was not a great draw. Your opponent has passed. Okay, never mind. This is the easiest game of all time. I didn't use either of my commander horns. I draw an additional card. Oh my god, that's cracked. So let's go. Uh, let's just go ahead and put a world of hurt on him. Let's draw this. Okay, that's going to be Biting Frost is going to be taking care of those boys. Interesting. What is the name of that card? Uh, Dwarven Skirmisher. Interesting. Because I thought my knowledge of the Sciatel is very loose. Very loose. And I am very cool with that because that's the stage of the game that we're at. So no no need to please. In fact, please do not uh, explain the Sciatel as a faction to me in the comments down below. I'm looking forward to finding that out in the fullness of time. However, what I'm, what I'm sitting here thinking is like I... I believe that the Sciatel were all... Is that a Scorch? Wait, wait, wait. What is that? Um, I don't have a close combat card. Let's go. I thought they were all elves. Um, Okay. Or at least the Elvis fac Elvish faction. Yo, what's he got in his discard? Dennis Kramer. Nope, Dennis Kramer. He also looks like a dwarf. Maybe it's elves and dwarves? Uh, let's check you down. We should be fine here. We're gonna... All these cards down. Cool. Pile on. Pile on. The... Fuck. You fucker. Pile on the, uh, close combat cards. That's cool with me. Okay. Oh my god, they just keep laying them in melee. Incredible. Uh, we'll lay this one here. We'll lay our leader card on our siege card next time. And we'll keep this biting frost for as long as possible. Oh, interesting. Interesting card. What is that card? Oh my. It's... Holy shit, that's overpowered. A morale boost and also... It's a, uh, like a hero card or whatever it's called. Hmm. Lay that. 47. He's got three cards left. Okay. Give yourself 10 there. Sure, sure. Wait a sec. Why is this ranger card have zero attack? Hmm. Uh, all right. We win so long as they don't have a clear weather, which they might. Oh my god. We, it's tied. Oh no. Oh no, it's tied. What do they have? Oh god. I think they just won. What's their last card? Fuck. <laughs> I lost. No. Yo, they have such a better deck. Look at all those tens. We just drew. I can't play my decoy, so I have to pass. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> well, now we gotta play again. I really thought this would be an easy stomp and then we'd, and then we'd go. All right, they do not appear to have very many spies, so, or at least they didn't last turn. We have a Biting Frost, Commander's Horn, which we already have. We have a spy, that's great. Oh my God, we got two spies, holy shit. One siege card. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. Second biting frost is not what I needed. Sure. Interesting. Okay. 
So that sucks because that means if I put down my spies, they get added. This dandelion card. I really like it, actually. It's twice as much effect for them. That's fine. I think we might just try and sacrifice our... Does decoy work on that? Does not. That sucks. Fuck. We're just gonna sacrifice this first uh, this first round in order to get as many cards as we can. Maybe I have three fucking commander's horns. Unbelievable. All right, they passed. Uh, I think we win this one on a. If I lay the Siege card... If I lay... Hmm... What's the best way for us to win this? I could lay... Technically two cards. Biting Frost... And... Uh, my siege card, and then I could get my siege card back for free with my medic card. I mean, I think I could lay almost any card to win it, but I think we do biting frost here. I was gonna do a commander horn and a, but that would take three total cards. But I do have three commander horns. Sorry, I'm sitting here thinking through this out loud. Um, I think we do Biting Frost. And it should still affect all of their cards. Down to five, incredible. And then I can lay this guy and pass. And then I can get that card back from... Cool. And it's my only card in my discard. I got another fucking decoy. Incredible. Love that. So many decoys, so many commander horns. God bless it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so this is the time that we made the mistake last time of just playing the second round all out no matter what. So... Unfortunately, I want to get a... I think I want to get a... card on the board that doesn't have a power of five, so that if they play a Scorch, it destroys the six rather than the five. So I think I have to play that. Let's see what sort of strategy they go for. Are they laying all melee? Okay. I have no weather effects. So that's fine. Um... So I can lay melee as well. I can double every single row here. I think we keep the decoy for if the round is just fully fucked, we can grab them back. And then maybe, maybe pull out a third. Is that gonna be a siege? Oh no. Okay, I do have a clear weather. We'll hold on to clear weather for as long as possible. Let's go ahead and grab... Yeah, let's grab the trebuchet. That's fine. They still believe they have to win two different rounds. So if we let them get into the lead here, that would be fine. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how I can really do that. You know what? No, let's play this. Let's play a double for this. And then we'll clear the weather afterwards. And it doesn't make our lead look quite so big. They play a muster. That's a problem. Okay. <clears throat> what if I doubled the strength of... They have four cards left. What are the odds they got some dastardly shit in there?
my thing, my thought is this: worst case scenario, I pull my medic card back with a decoy and another siege card back, and I have like 15 points in siege. Next round, siege. Next round. I keep saying it very like French. Siege. I don't actually know how to speak French. Uh, let's check this guy down. And we'll add the combat card next round. Okay. This is all still fine, but what do they have left in those three cards? If there's three special cards, fuck me. Oh. No. Oh. They still gotta win. They still think they gotta win. Two rounds here. If I play decoy, they will pass. I hope that that medic work, uh, card still works. Let's see. Will they pass? They'll pass, right? They did not pass. Incredible. So we're fine. In that case, we won. I'm going to lay decoy again. I'm going to grab you. Right? It's the only thing that makes sense. They finally learned to pass. That's great. I'm so proud of you. And we have too many cards for uh, to win the next one. Oh my god, we left ourselves a back door. Holy shit. Opponent's turn. What do they play? What do you got? Clear weather. <laughs> That's not going to help you here, Brett. <laughs> That ain't gonna help you here. We'll take this one because I, I just love running up the score. I just absolutely fucking love it. I just love running up the score. Nothing. It's because I have a, a... I don't have enough confidence in my ability yet to just take like a small victory and walk away. I have to like feed my ego by putting 34 points on the board in the last round just to say fuck you and also to speak to the insecurity deep inside of me. We did it. Oh, in keep done. All right, Inkeep didn't any have any other Farewell. options, right? I think I just got a new card. Probably should be a Sciatel card, right? Racial hygiene's as poor as... What did... What, wait, wait, wait. What did that guy just say? I think I got this one, yeah? Arranged card, okay. The folk in this city, racial yeah, hygiene's as poor as the... Hygiene. What does that mean? I don't want to know, actually. All right, so let's let's get back on the uh, on the track here. We're looking for Corinne here. We have fighting people. I should probably ask, right? Bucky. Master Claytop. I should ask. greets the challenger. Greetings to Master Claytop from Geralt. Will you take up the challenge? Will you face our tavern's champion? Honestly. Fuck it. Welcome to a new city. It's time to brawl and and play some poker. Gwent. <clears throat> yeah, I'll fight this Gregorio fellow. All right. Your attention, please. This fine witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion. In a George game where George. George is George. While our champion prepares, you and I should have a chat. What about? Let us talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal, provided you follow a few recommendations. I'm you asking me to cheat? Being told Not to throw? to cheat, to engage in an enterprise, that is all. What say you? I'm being asked to toss. Uh, I'm all ears, but I'm not about to do it. How much will you give me to throw the fight? Considerably more than if you win. You guys remember that thing I just said? About my ego. Kiss my ass, Master Claytop. You'll regret that. <laughs> A warm welcome to our competitors as they enter the ring. Geralt versus Georges George, the pile driver. Oh Made my god. A better man win. It's the Undertaker, except. Do you see his goat tattoo? Oh fuck. That's it, you're in. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, he's level 15? Oh god. Oh, we're in trouble. Nope, we're, we're actually... I'll, I'll show you a pile driver. Pile drive me daddy? Should that be the name of... It shouldn't. Look at that dodge. He might be a pile driver, but... You know how to... Look at this fa fancy footwork. You see this footwork? It's all in the footwork, George. I'll show you some footwork. My foot to your head. Let's go! Our winner and the tavern's new champion is... The Witcher called Geralt. Look at this drunk guy in the Here background. Here is your prize. Somebody tell Archibald me why. Archibald O'Neill is another brawler you can fight. You'll find him near the entrance to the slums. There's also Mortimer, captain of the guard. He can usually be found near the Oxenfurt Gate. Tell me why in this game, which is incredible on every front, beautiful storytelling, in-depth characters, fun beasts. Tell me why. I have as much fun as anything, fist fighting and playing cards. What? What's happening? Why? Why is this this way? I don't know, but it's great. Watch it, Greyhead. Watch it, Greyhead. What am I supposed to watch? Was it? Was I supposed to watch the face you made as you splayed out on the floor back there after I kicked your ass? What am I watching? Duckhand, deckhand, townsman, seaman. All right, let's find Kareem. She's not this way. Oh. Park to bay. Hello, sourpuss. Hello, sourpuss. Hey, why'd, why'd your hair go away? Oh, wait. The quest changed again. Sorry. That's why. That's what's happening. Uh, Fist of Fury Novigrad. He was way over our level, too. We still pulled it off. I want this one again. Did I miss her? She right here by the... Why don't you all just get off my back? Does it say up? can't tell. I think it says up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're going up. Gotcha. I figured it out very slowly. Corinne. Corinne. Save the game in chat. Hello. Dream in here. I've never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. Wait, hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. The music. Are we about to do some ritual? Am I? At, wait, wait, I thought we were just meeting here to chat about what you saw inside of the dream. You're making this seem like I'm going to I'm going to dream or do something like this. I'm not interested in that. I'm just interested in conversation. What's this dreaming thing about? Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. Mm. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. So here's the deal. Objects of, of what did she say? Objects of importance? I picked up something from Triss, uh, from, well, I picked up something from Triss's. Do I have anything of series? What are we, what exactly are we doing here? Let's do it. I don't know what we're doing, but let's do it. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Oh, look Siri. at that little orb. The woman's name is Siri. I remember when we first met, I trained her at Kaer Morhen. I saved her life once. She was there when I died. Oh my god, as as incredible as lots of these are, she was there when I died? I remember when we first met? The only thing I do remember is training her at Kaer Morhen because I did a little bit of that during this game, during this 
dream. I, dr I, I dreamed it during this game. I wonder if I should pick that or if I should pick she was there when I died. On the off chance that I'm about to actually see the memory, I want to pick she was there when I died. It was in Rivia. The second okay. war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. Is there anything you'd like to add? Another memory, perhaps? Yes? Yes, there's something else. All right. Tell me no more than you wish to. Dude, I'm gonna talk through all of this shit. I wanna, I wanna hear all of these. Saved her life once. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. It's pretty badass though. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? I mean, if we're in for... What's that phrase? I have more to say. Um, in for a little, in for a lot. There's a phrase do. there, but I don't remember it. Uh, I trained her at Kaer Morhen. This one I actually Siri vaguely remember. Orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. Part of it at least. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morhen. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yeah, we're doing all of them. Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. I remember when I, I first accepted sat. a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Law of surprise. Years later, I was in the Broccolon forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion, they failed in her case. Ciri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. What's more than fate? What does that mean? Has hmm. Abilities. Interesting. Tell me about them. Siri is a child of the Elder Blood. They call her the Lady of Space and Time. She had trouble controlling them. I know vaguely a little bit about the Elder Blood. I've never heard of Lady in Space and Time of Space and Time, so I'm gonna click that one. They call Siri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Jennifer why, she travels between worlds. I hope I can trust this lady. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? I'm saying all of them. Yep. Yeah, there's something else. Elder Blood. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker? The rebel burned at the stake. 
The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy <laughs> when it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent and talking Interesting. about Interesting. I see. Do you wish to say more? Uh, yeah. We're getting yeah, so much lore. There's something else. She ha had trouble controlling these powers. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Siri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Yo, Next shout out to Kareen, my therapist. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Dandelion or Yennefer and Triss? Oh, I kind of want to pick Dandelion. I want to meet him. Uh, but I don't know. I'll say Yennefer and Triss. Yennefer wasn't in Novigrad. Triss was. But Siri never found her. Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. It's the one that makes more sense from a story perspective. We've seen Yennefer and Triss. We haven't seen Dandelion. Oh, my medallion's freaking out. Is she knitting? Crocheting? Sleepy time. Oh. Oh. Can't hear anything. Love Dandelion's makeup. And the, I could do without the top, but the hat's pretty, pretty cool too. A very like Orlando Bloom in Pirates of the Caribbean facial uh, hair situation. Okay, an explosion and a bird. Wonder what that could be. <sighs> the swallow. The swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet. Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The inn? The rosemary and thyme? The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district. Oh, it's not an inn. A bridge. It's not an inn. Rosemary is just past it. We saw it. It's a brothel. The lion inherited a brothel. That's so right. Incredible. Incredible. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. That's Good so luck, funny. Richard. I hope you find your Siri. Thank you, Creed. All right. That is going to do it for this episode. Holy cow. A wealth of information and some fun along the way. Some Gwent, some fist fighting and then some dreaming. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, a like or a positive comment down below. In the next episode, we will continue. Uh, maybe we'll go see Dandelion. Maybe meet Dandelion for the first time. I don't know. Uh, I'm in And we'll definitely read some character descriptions too. Until then, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.